Okay guys, Private Jack here, and this is an addendum to my series on how to compile butterflies from Blender and get them into Source Filmmaker. <clears throat> it's an addendum because I said I was going to do this, but I completely forgot about it, doing it when I was doing the compile session. And I'm constantly getting flooded with questions about, well, how do we compile with Crowbar? So what I've got going here is I've got crowbar sitting there off on the side and what we're going to do is we're going to actually compile a model using crowbar now crowbar is the newest decompiler out there it's used for decompiling uh, all the uh, valve models right from half-life all the way through to uh, the HWM models that uh, are available now and it does the job quite well unfortunately uh, none of the compilers out there decompilers out there decompile models to DMX files it's strictly SMDs VTAs and QC's so anyway we're not here to talk about decompiling uh, but we are here to talk about compiling so this is the compiler tab for uh, crowbar and as you can see I've used it to do a few things uh, and there are all kinds of games available for uh, compiling to uh, they're already set up in the actual crowbar compiler if your system is set up properly or, or by default if not then what you have to do is you actually have to change the configurations in order to find the necessary files needed to compile a model and we're going to go through that and I've reworked the uh, uh, QC file for the butterfly 2 or the the butterfly with helmet the the, the big model that we did uh, during the uh, session uh, and I've put in here quite a few mistakes and whatnot else and we'll just see how well crowbar identifies these mistakes and how we go about fixing them so uh, stand by for that yes it's planned and yes it is like the errors are there on purpose it's not just me okay so first off this is the decompiler this is the compiler tab and we're going to be compiling for source filmmaker so to set this thing up what you do is you come in here and you click on the compile tab and down here in the options menu there's a drop down list that gives you the various games that you can compile for these are all valve games yada 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 that kind of thing and each of these games have their own flavor of studio mdl that they compile with and the setup to the game info text file is different for each of them so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look here and we're going to see if we can find Source Filmmaker. And I just happen to have it here. I should have deleted this just so that I had to go through and set it up. But if you'll notice, my setup is probably different than yours is. And the reason for that is because I've installed um, Source Filmmaker to a different drive, a different folder path. And I actually set that up through my... Um, library get into uh, uh, settings steam settings and here in my downloads this button here steam folders I've actually set up three different steam folders my SFM sits down here on s colon backslash steam yours is probably sitting in C colon backslash program files x86 steam or c colon backslash program files okay so that's how you set that up now once that's set up and if you have to change it the way that you go about changing it is over here you click on setup games and it will bring up the game setup if you don't have source filmmaker already in your drop down list all you have to do is click add and I'm going to add one anyway so uh, from here I'm going to identify the game and we'll call this SFM2 and we'll make it uh, 
click on the browse button, go and find the uh, Studio MDL, or no, the game info text file, sorry. Uh, so my game info text file is down here on my F drive. Sometimes I hate Windows. Oh, come on, F. Where are you? There you are. Okay, F, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, and Game, User Mod. So this is my place where Game Info Text File lives. User mod, there it is. I select that and click open. And that should change to uh, reflect game info text file and the location where it is. Leave this as dash temp. And then for the actual Studio MDL, you want to use the Studio MDL that is associated with Source Filmmaker. So we're going to browse. Unfortunately, it doesn't know it, it, it. It's stupid that way, but you have to actually go and find the actual Studio MDL that you're going to use. So F Steam Steam Apps Common Source Filmmaker Game, and here in the bin folder, we find Studio MDL. Select it and click Open. And again, this will change to reflect where that studio MDL file is. Okay, so now all I have to do is click on save and close and now I have the compiler set up to compile for Source Filmmaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the menu down, come down here, find Source Filmmaker 2, the one that I just did, and now we're ready to compile a QC. So to compile the QC what I have to do is I either have to uh, use the browse button go and find the QC that I want to actually compile. So it's on my desktop in Butterfly 2. Come on get up here. There we go. Uh, DMX Helm and the one that I'm going to compile is Butterfly Helm Error. Okay, I can either select that and click open, or all I had to do was actually find the QC in a Windows Explorer session and drag and drop. I'm going to bring the, the good one in, drag and drop it there, and see it changes. So let's do the error one and find out how good uh, Studio or uh, Crowbar is at. Uh, interpreting the errors that source uh, the uh, studio MDL is going to throw back at it. Okay, so now to compile the model, all I have to do is come down here and click on compile, and I should get a ton of errors. Error on line three. See here, this is the uh, same information that we saw from Blender in the. Um, system console window right so this is the actual log file of crowbar talking to studio mdl uh, passing the qc through and the error information is coming back into this log area area so now i have to open up that qc go to line three one two three and right here where it says uh error bad command mod name that should be model name. So all I have to do is change that. And I've got quite a few more errors. Resave the uh, QC and run it again. Compile. Now it's found another error and on line 5 could not load this file name. And this is why I like Notepad++ is because that we have uh, the actual line numbers associated. So, uh, compiling error user, yeah, yeah. See user butterfly to butterfly helm error QC line five could not load file uh, butter. Let's 
extended out. Butterfly head DMX. Well, why can I not load that file? Well, now we have to come down here to line five, have a quick look. Head butterfly, uh, butterfly head five DMX. Oh, I've got that. So there's got to be another place in the QC that there is an error. So change directories. Model name is now correct. Head butterfly head DMX body. Hats blank. Right here. This is a this is an error, but it should not have erred that far up. So now it's just a matter of walking through it and having a quick look. Model name Private Jack, Creatures Butterfly Helm, Butterfly Helm, Body, Head, Butterfly Head DMX, Butterfly Head DMX. What we'll do is we'll take, we'll copy that and paste it in here. That's good. Next one, next one. Let's have a look at that error again. DMX Helm. Let's repaste that file path in here. Oh, there's what might have been the problem. That changed. Okay, so file save. Run it again. So it came down, it found a whole bunch of stuff. And it stopped at unknown command hats. So what's wrong with the unknown command hats? Well, look in the here. We've got mesh here, but we forgot the studio. So file save again. Hit the compile button. Likes everything until it gets down to unknown command hats. Oh, here's the problem right here. So coming down the list, coming down the list, coming down the list, looking at this command here, what it's saying is it thinks that the rest of this whole thing is part of this body statement. Why? Because there's no closing quotation. But we actually found another error while we were actually studying the QC, and that was that there was a studio missing from this line. Okay, so file save, and let's see what happens. Compile. Found another error on line 20. Line 20, right here. CD, CDI materials. There's no such command. File save again. And I think that was the last error that I threw in here, but we'll find out. So, compile. Away it goes. Oh, stopped on line 29. Bad command. HBB box. So that should be right here, line 29. That should be hitbox, hbox, file save. And I think that's the last one I have. Might have one down here in the sequence, but we'll find out in a minute. Compile. Oh, compiling, compiling. Line 44 could not find the file. Butterfly body, DMX, yada, yada, yada. Line 44. <clears throat> Butterfly body, DMX. Should have found that one. But, again, another missing quotation mark right there. 
File save again. And for this time, poof, away it goes. Happy, happy, happy. Finishes the old, the, uh, the uh, compiling. And let's roll up the page here. There's no further errors. <clears throat> and if we go into our Half-Life model viewer, which we have to launch through um, the Source Film Maker SDK. Can't remember if this one works or not. I think we have to actually go and find it. File load, oops, file load, butterfly helm, and there's our butterfly. Sequences are intact. And the model has down here, it has its subgroups. So it's got its little things. His helmet and his hat. Argentina or bust and it has its skins okay the other thing is is it does not have its hit boxes anymore oh jeepers creepers yes it does because we had the hit box written in the QC already I meant to take that out as another one of the errors but anyway so it does have its hit box and we're good to go. This model is now ready to look at in Source Filmmaker and be used. And that is compiling using Crowbar. When you're compiling, just watch for the errors that occur. And most errors will come out and give you an actual line number that the error took place on. If not, then you have to walk through the actual QC and see if you can see the error. So, other than that, that's it. Compiling with Crowbar, setting it up, getting it ready to go with Source Filmmaker, and poof, there you go. With that, I'm going to say Private Jack out.